The greatest name in production of white burgundy is Domaine Le Fleuve, based in puligny Marache. And I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to say that I've met um, the great Vincent Le Fleuve, um, the patriarch of the company, many years ago. Um, and in meeting him, he did something which is very unusual and very generous. Um, that was to show me all of his wines. I was only a, a, young, a young man at the time. Show me all of his wines in his cellar, um, one on one. Told me oh, he spoke beautiful English. Told me all of the um, intricacies about all of the wines, and then sent me on my way with a bottle of Le Morache, which is the most sought after wine, probably uh, white wine on the planet. Um, this has stayed with me forever, and I followed the wines incredibly closely and been to the cellars every year to taste there, um, and in fact, um, was very, very sad to hear that uh, Anne-Claude Le Fleuve, the most famous female winemaker in the world, I think, probably um, passed away not so long ago, um, and now the estate is in a slight moment of flux, let's say. But the thing that will save them, and it, as it always does with great estates, is their soils, their vineyards, their holdings. They are truly spectacular. They have some of the greatest real estate in the world at Le Fleuve, and from the Grand Cru's all the way down through the Premier Cru's, even to their Bourgogne Blanc, which I nicknamed BBBB, Bourgogne Blanc from behind, and then I switched into French, the Batiment, the building, um, which Anne Claire thought was hilarious, and she called it BBBB forever after that, um, is one of the great wines of all time. This is not a cheap Bourgogne Blanc, though. Um, it's Le Fleuve after all, so you'll have to pay about the same for her. Um, white Burgundy, as you will, for other people's village Puligny. Anyway, regardless, what are the wines like? Well, there's one word that sums them up. Every single wine that Le Fleuve makes um, has an air of majesty about them. They are sophisticated, they're very layered, they're very complex. Um, it takes minutes to sort of um, break apart the, the, the flavour on the palate and analyse every single little segment. Um, I'll never forget Vincent Lefleur saying to me, we only have one rule in this cellar, ne pas cracher par terre, don't spit on the floor. And then he gestured to me this ornate spittoon on the wall where I could spit. If that's the only rule at Lefleur, and it seems to be the only rule at Lefleur, then that's why they make such great wines, because they've thrown the rest of the rule book out the window when they make these incredible works of art. So, Domaine Lefleur, do not forget this name. Do not forget this name because they are the captains of Chardonnay on earth. Mm -hmm.